Hello my friends, welcome back to Real Scale StarCraft 2 Mass Recall. Uh, we were supposed to be doing Nightmare Difficulty Tactical Arsenal all in tonight, however, I am having a hard time sitting for long periods of time because I am injured, so we're gonna go do the things that I know that I can win in a certain amount of time, instead of the thing that may end up taking an hour and a half, I have no idea. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we're going to absolutely crush through probably the first two missions. Two missions sounds pretty good. We'll see how it goes. Overmind hard, let's do this. Uh, I guess the beginning of it is going to be a little bit slow. Because we only start with two drones. <laughs> and that's just not much dronage. However, we store $200, that's actually pretty good. Hmm. Double Hydra. Oh, yeah. This is going to be so good. We're going to have so much stuff. Like, <laughs> I actually think it's going to go ridiculous. Oh, gosh. I didn't even see these Zerglings. Look at how many we start with. That's amazing. Okay. Oh, Fire Bats. No. Okay. Does anyone remember that the StarCraft 1 Zergling is the most overpowered thing in the history of mankind? And now we're getting 10 of them per batch? Is this going to be crazy? Is this going to be bonkers? Like, this unit is going to be the Destructornator of buildings. He's going to be the Destroyer Yori Deer. He's going to absolute... Oh, where do you think you're going? You think you're going back to that little place? No, you ain't. No, you ain't. I, I 1v1 you, bro. <laughs> I 1v1 you and I spawn 10 at a time. Oh my goodness. The Zergling is going to be insane. Look at this. He possesses sickle limbs and sharp incisor teeth, primarily for tearing into flesh. Yummy. All right. We're, uh, Dagoth is like trying to teach me how to play. I, I do not care at all, Dagoth. I am building a lot of drone. Oh, look at this. Huh. Oh, hey, there's like an autocast drone thing. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to use it because it is one of those things that has weird muscle memory. Like when you autocast workers and you're not supposed to because you'll stop playing this series once it's done. Yeah, we're going to we're going to avoid that. However, very fascinating. I like that quite a bit. Always, always a fan of the quality of life. How much supply does an overlord take? I mean, I guess it gives 16 because hatcheries give a single supply in Starcraft 1. As opposed to StarCraft 2, where they give some amount that's more. Sorry, I can't get over the fact that we engaged poorly into a fire bout with marine support, and we just absolutely destroyed it. It wasn't even close. It was... It was beautiful. We're gonna have a good time. I think that Real Scale Zerg is gonna be a lot of fun. Because... Because, you know, I'm just thinking about, like, the thing about StarCraft 2 real scale is that even then, Kerrigan is such an important factor to everything. But this is going to be actual swarm. And that's really, really cool to me. That's really, really exciting. We just have to get there. Dagoth, I know how to play. <laughs> this guy's like, he's taken four minutes and he hasn't built a spawning pool. This guy's such a noob. It's like, Dagoth, please. Not everyone has to four pool. But only a hatchery can be built upon. But only a hatchery. Oh my goodness. Creep colonies. Whoa. Uh oh. Let's uh. Whoa. Okay. We're not even gonna get broodlings for this. Okay, we're gonna have these guys pop over here, and then we're gonna surround them. How good are our drones? 40. They're not SCVs, no, are they? We might be able to take this down. Oh, yeah, they're they're working. My dudes. My dudes and dudettes. <laughs> the Zergling. I have introduced you to this Destructinator, as I called it. And I think that after that fight, y'all can agree... That that was some destructination. <laughs> that was... First of all, hatchery. 1750 HP. That's pretty bulky, and I could feel it. Like, that thing did not die. That was pretty amazing. I thought I was doomed, and it turns out they were. That was fantastic. 
Really happy. Zerg is such a race. I always like StarCraft 1 Zerg. I think I like it more than StarCraft 2 Zerg. I know that that's probably sacrilege to a lot of people, but like, I don't know, it feels more swarmy in this game in a lot of ways. Like, StarCraft 2 Zerg is a lot about spellcasters and stuff, and less about just lots of little dudes, but the Zerg lane. Mm. All right, we're gonna head on over here. We're gonna get our Hydra tech going. We're not getting armor where we're going. We probably need to get Hydra movement speed and stuff though, unfortunately. I know, I'm as disappointed as you are. That's 150 gas. And then we'll get some sunks over here because we're gonna push up the other side. Mainly just because uh, defending this area with Zerglings is easier than building creep colonies up here or something. This ramp feels very tall. Takes a long, I guess it's because the Zerglings are so small, but it feels like it takes forever for them to get up and down it. Interesting. All right, how much does a Hydralisk cost? Uh, 75, 25, and one for two of them, which does seem to be a pretty good deal, honestly. What else do we got? Uh, just a couple more of these guys, and then, if I remember, Sunks are really good, right? Like, 60 damage? Two armor, 450 HP? Oh yeah, they're pretty good. They're, they're pretty amazing. I think that we're gonna be fine on the defensive front. They make bunkers look pretty wimpy. Hmm. I like that. Let's get groovy spines. And then I wonder if we can just, uh, we probably need like 10 hydras before we can move out. I'm just waiting on these overlords. Yeah. Oh. They found the high ground. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good angle. Just split our stuff and then come on in. The triple fire bat is a lot. But so is my zergling count. All right, no problem. We make some more hydras and then we're gonna have a bunch of Zerglings rallying to reinforce. When everything starts popping out, then we will go. Now, if I remember the way this map works, there's like a little outpost up here, a little outpost over here, and then the main base. And you almost always end up dealing with one of the outposts, then the main, then the other outpost. Because we do have to kill basically everything, but not exactly everything. But I also don't remember what everything we don't have to kill, so I'm just gonna kill everything, cause it's easier, you know? Nice gas geyser. Oh, hey Wraith. Goodbye. Target it down, target it down. That was the target it down song. <laughs> it doesn't even have a conclusion. It's honestly a very bad song. If there's any music majors in the chat, they're probably very upset. Let's move the Hydras forward, target down these Wraithy boys. And then pull back, because I'm scared. And look at the Zerglings, they're so good. They're just doing everything, and you can fit a million of them targeting down buildings. They're just chewing up the entire universe. I think that I'm gonna really enjoy real scale Zerg here. This uh, already feels significantly better than Terran did. Because Zerg Tier 1 is like fully fledged and operational, you know? Uh, it isn't until Brood War that infantry truly becomes its own thing in StarCraft 1 because of the medic. But that was, as soon as we got going, we got going, you know what I mean? Like, they did not stand a chance. That was enjoyable. Let's go do the next mission. And we're actually going to do the mission. We're not going to. I'm not going to just walk to the end, because I'm not even sure you can do that on hard difficulty and on mass recall. <laughs> There's probably a reaver somewhere that will end the entire career of anyone who tries that. All right. Here we go. Uh, aggression, yeah. It's like aggression, but we're going somewhere instead. Okay. So I believe that this mission has just a ton of mineral fields just chilling out, doing their own minerally thing. And that means that we're gonna have a lot of money, two hatches to begin with, 200 bucks, 
Yeah, this is pretty as you will celebrate. They will serve you unquestioningly. Go that. Now and bring swift wrath to all who would oppose the swarm. That is like That is a lot of hunter killers. That's ten hunter killers. Oh baby. That is that is beautiful. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give the enemies a real bad time. I am very excited for this. Hunter killers are already so good. How's the Muta do? 150 HP, 12 damage. Hunter killer, 160 HP, 20 damage. 40 versus capital ships. Do these do bonus versus caps as well? They do. Ooh. Are, are Hydralisks that capital ship killer? Not the role that I thought they would be in, but okay. This looks like it's supposed to be the world's largest gas geyser. Look at it. This is like... The, the 1%, it's not just a rich Vespine geyser, but it is the 1% Vespine gas geyser. Amazing. $50 for an extractor, very fair price. And I'm like already saturated. <laughs> In StarCraft 1 campaign missions, you're not supposed to have an economy this quick. That might be my favorite thing about Zerg, honestly, is just how fast we're getting everything. Of course, uh... Armor feels pretty not important once again, so I'm going to be ignoring it for the most part because, particularly on this mission where we're going to fight the Protoss, right? Like, once we get to a certain point, they're going to be one-shotting the Zergling tanks, and that is about it. It's There's not going to be any subtlety in the fights. I don't really remember this map. Like, what's up here? Is there anything? If I had some Zerglings, I'd go check. Uh, we're going to have to get Adrenal. I'm going to get plus one first because these upgrades take forever in StarCraft 1. 229 seconds. Like, it's kind of like how in real life, if you want to have your kid go to college, you need to start saving up for it 10 years before they're born in the United States. Uh, sorry, Europeans, you don't you don't know what this is about. <laughs> Uh, it's basically that for upgrades. Like, if you want to go for melee units, you kind of have to start your upgrade way before you have any sort of melee tech or aspirations to build. We have plus two attack already? I think I knew that, and it's just that I've never, I basically never play this mission for real. We have plus two attack on mission two. I knew we had it on mission three, but that's actually ridiculous. <laughs> That is unreasonably fast. Uh, I mean, we have uh, we have Spire on this mission too. Like this mission truly just throws you into the tech pool, right? They're just <laughs> you have plus two attack, you have mutas. Okay, and then no one notices because they just walk to the end. But not today. We have so many upgrades we gotta get. Fortunately, we have. The Giga Gas. <laughs> Truly the gassiest of all time. This Chrysalis looks so weird. It's it's just like so generic. Alright, we're gonna get movement speed for Hydras, then we're gonna get range. I don't really want to go out with these until we have those upgrades, because they do get them. They have frenzied? Immune to slow and stun, regenerate and heal faster. Dude, I'm in love. This is amazing. Okay, move forward, move forward. Oh, sorry, Mutas, you're not gonna have a good day. And then start the Hydra. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Mutas. <laughs> the Mutas are getting scouted. Are you a capital ship? No. I wish you were a capital ship, then we'd hit you really hard. He might be a capital ship because we hit him really hard. <laughs> That was, that was a lot of damage. All right, let's keep going. I figure as long as there's not, okay, these hunter killers do start with their upgrades, most definitely, because they're going way faster. Man, we are just slaughtering. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Good old, oh, there, I knew that was going to happen eventually. Pull him back. Not sure how Reavers work in StarCraft uh, Mass Recall, but I'm pretty sure that their scarabs are reliable. 
Which means that we need a lot of Zerglings to put in the front. Fortunately, I do have a Z button. Haven't lost that one yet. So, maybe I want to head up here first. Just see what's going on. I feel like there's a base or something over there. Actually, the correct way to go there might be over here. Not so sure. Oh, they're rebuilding. Yeah, they gotta have a base somewhere, because they have probes. They're definitely coming from that right side. I don't want to be surrounded. I don't trust the Mass Recall AI because it's so rebuild heavy that sometimes it's better to take down these bases. So they, if uh, something goes wrong, then they haven't rebuilt everything behind it, you know? Because I have a feeling that Reaver fight going wrong, not an unreasonable assumption. Zealot came from up here, which means that there's probably buildings up there. Or, you know, pre-placed Zealot. Okay, so uh, Zealot was up there. That means there's probably a pre-placed Zealot up there. Just like down here. That may have been it for the base. I may have to put air quotes around base next time. But I think this was good. Where did the probes come from to rebuild, though? Maybe the base is on the other side. Which, if that's the case, I don't care. Because I'm not going to get flanked. It's all about, like, you move this way and then they come in from over here sort of thing. But if it's in the same way that I'm pushing, then I'm fine with it. Okay, they, they do like their scouts, don't they? Okay, we'll take that down. Zealots are very chonky. I'm excited to play with real scale Zealots in Starkov 1 as well. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yup. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, how I thought it was going to go is that the Zerglings were in the front, so it'd be okay. But because he was positioned here, he, like, saw the Hydras first and then... Yeah, the, the first shot that went into the core of those Hydras was absolutely insanity. Ridiculous levels of damage right there. And unfortunately, I don't have another base. And these are actually running out of minerals? Am I in trouble? I could be in trouble. Let's, uh, let's drop a Spire. Just to make sure that we have Mutas available. Oh, I gotta get a Lair. I would... I would prefer that not be how it goes. Oh, they're not rebuilt. Whoa! This guy... Is there two Reavers? Is there, like, one up here and one over here? Because that Scarab seems like it's coming very quickly. And I feel like a Reaver cannot shoot all the way there, can it? Hmm. This is odd. <laughs> Very odd, and I'm not sure that I'm going to like the results. Okay, let's head up over here. Just check what's happening on this side of things. Uh -oh. You are going to get Keanu Reavered, sir. I don't want that. No, 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 no. You guys have to come all the way up and around. Yeah, just take this base down. If I have to grab the money in it, I will. I don't know if they have a robo or anything, but if we can stop any sort of production, that would be nice. <laughs> then I figure we can just throw money at the Reaver problem or throw mutas because they won't have any anti-air. Whatever it takes. I'm not too picky. Do you have Storm? No, you're the world's most useless Templar. Okay. At least StarCraft 2 Templar have feedback, you know? StarCraft 1 Templar, if you don't have Storm upgraded, like, what are you going to do, hallucinate people? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, maybe. <laughs> it's a fun ability. Alright, we're tearing through things. Feeling pretty good. Spire is on the way. Just banking up a lot of money for the Spire. Taking all this down. As I said before, if we have to take this base, we have the legal authority to do so. 
Even though it would feel really bad. <laughs> ah, there's the other High Templar. They could have become an Archon. They chose not to. Well, I'm glad that we have a Spire here for this Reaver. Muta's away. We only get one Muta per buy, which is actually kind of low. But Mutas are pretty darn good. I just misplaced that. Mutas are pretty darn good. So I'm not too concerned about it. Now we're going to poke on over here, make sure that all this is still cleared up. Ah, yeah, they're going to be fine. Particularly because we dealt with the double Stargate, which means that scouts are not going to be a problem anymore. So we should be able to just click you. 147 kills. Okay, it's just one Reaver. It, the Scarabs just go a very long distance. It might be a mass recall thing combined with a uh, real scale thing. Their numbers are just wacky. I hadn't seen them shoot around the corner. Whoa. 75-75. Ooh. That's very good. Really, really cheap. All right. We can grab this Chrysalis, and then we can head on over to the point. Keep clearing everything out. I can't believe the Reeve. That is it. I think we've dealt with every single... Oh my gosh, there's someone hiding right up here, isn't there? What? What's happening? Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna pretend that area doesn't exist. You saw nothing. Everything is working as intended. Please ignore the man behind the curtain. It was a fun mission. Really enjoyed it. Prepare yourself, Sarevrit. Okay. Your first jump through warp space could be unsettling. You gonna eat me? Dinner. And that was how Kerrigan was eaten by a Nidus worm. All right, my friends, that is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Real Scale Mass Recall. I I love it. I love terrible kill-death ratios. It makes me feel so good about myself when I win. It's I don't know why, but it's just something I adore. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.